So, up to this point, we've been using the sounds uh, in the GR300. We've been using the SBC1324 as a control voltage mixing and routing source, and we've been using the Moog uh, MP201. But the SBC1324 also has a dedicated 13 pin synthesizer output. I have a VG99 right here behind me. Um, currently, it's just passing the sound of the GR300 directly through, but I'll change patches on it. And 12 string guitar. Back to the GR300. Now, it's a little awkward in the middle of a performance to reach around and change patches. So uh, we actually have a provision on the SBC 1324 to plug in a GK foot switch. And in this case, I'm using a Boss FS6 foot switch. It uh, uses a tip ring sleeve cable. And here's the foot switch. I'm going to plug this in the back. I'll plug the other end to the GK input on the back of the SBC 1324. Here's the 12 string sound. And there's the GR300. So uh, I think it's A takes us down a patch. Yeah. There's 12 string. And of course, you know, we can. Uh, Go go to other synthesizer sounds as well. That was just an example. That's a patch called paragliding. Then we can just step right back to the GR three hundred. And that's just an example. The uh, depending on what you're doing with your uh, connected 13-pin equipment, the uh, the function can be assigned to control synthesizer parameters, patch change, like we're doing here, or any number of features. That that's all entirely programmable. Okay, if you've noticed that I no longer have the very identifiable G707 guitar. The SBC 1324 will also convert any 13-pin guitar into a vintage 24-pin guitar. And I powered my system down, plugged in a 13-pin uh, cable here on the front, got my guitar out, and flipped the input switch to 13-pin input, and powered everybody back up. This is the extra safety, precautious way to do it. Um, I haven't done enough testing to see if, if it would be a problem to switch uh, while you're actually playing. It's probably not a big deal, but... Uh, that's how I'm doing it for the test. So you hear it's pretty much the exact same guitar sound using a 13-pin guitar rather than a 24-pin guitar. And since we've switched all the controls, the controls that were all on the G707 have been switched over to the SBC 1324. As, as far as all the connected synthesizers are concerned, this guitar is no different from the G707 guitar that we were using. There is one difference, though. I activated the six string preamps on the front panel because if I, I turn these off, there just isn't enough output to really drive the GR300. So I'm flipping them back on, and I recommend using about the uh, the three o'clock position. This is a GK3 pickup here. We have all the same features uh, on. On this guitar that we would have with the G707, there's the hex fuzz sound as well. And when we turn the uh, balance knob back, now hear the sound of this guitar rather than a uh, G707 guitar. And uh, this guitar does have GK control uh, S1 and S2 built into it because it is a 13 pin guitar so I can control the VG99 directly.
Uh, but if I did plug in the uh, FS6 uh, foot switch pedal, which we did when we were using the G707, works the same way as it did before. Plugging the, uh, the external pedal in disables the controls on the guitar. Very similar to what we were doing with the G707, and now the foot switch uh, changes patches. And the great thing about this system is there are a very limited selection, of course, of vintage 24-pin guitars. But using the SBC 1324 uh, in the 13-pin input position and flipping the preamps on, basically you have a system now where regardless of what kind of guitar you're using, GK3, GK2, it's all transparent to the system, and you have a lot more choices as far as guitars are concerned. You can go with a Parker Fly guitar, a Paul Reed Smith guitar, you can get a Roland Ready Strat, and they will all work just like your vintage 24-pin guitar synth controller, and now you can decide, uh, your choice of guitar can be based upon you know, what kind of neck you like, what kind of body type, uh, fretboard, versus simply saying, well, you know, I have to decide between a G whatever, 202, 303, 505, you know, the limited selection of guitars that are available for uh, vintage instruments. All right, well, this wraps up the, uh, the series of video clips uh, explaining the functions of the SBC 1324. Again, you have a choice of 13 or 24 pin guitar inputs. And when you have the, uh, the switches here in the up position, it transfers the control voltage processing to the SBC 1324. And as far as the connected synths are concerned, your choice of guitar is entirely transparent. GR 300, 700. Uh, this guitar is a chambered uh, maple body with a graphite neck Spurzel locking tuners. Great guitar. You would not have been able to even find this thing in 1981. And I'm able to play a GR300 with it. Uh, works just the same as if I had a, a G808 guitar. And you also have a choice of uh, 13 or 24 uh, pin outputs on the back. 24 pin output or uh, uh, 13 pin output and you can interface external control voltage sources like the Moog uh, MP201. Just take a cable, plug it into any of the uh, control voltage pedal inputs on the back. The uh, external inputs, like the pedal, work with the front panel inputs. Where the uh, control voltages get uh, summed together and we have uh, additional balance input so that you can balance between uh, the direct output of the guitar and the uh, synthesizer output, internal hex fuzz, switching for a vibrato and the uh, hex fuzz output, and um, dedicated tuner output. And that just about uh, concludes everything that I can think to tell you today about using the SBC uh, 1324. Enjoy it in good health, and thank you.